What's going on everybody? Spencer McDuffie here. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. The question of the day is this. How do I sell a home when I've inherited the property and there's multiple heirs that have the right to the home? Now, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can get that done. And trust me guys, it's not as hard as you think it may be. I've done it multiple, multiple times now. So I know when you get yourself into this situation, it can seem stressful. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly step-by-step step on what you need to do to sell a property that you've inherited where there's multiple heirs uh, that are entitled to the property. So the very first thing, guys, and this is simple, this is simple, but understand that it's important. It's important to adopt the right mindset and understand that this can be done. It will be difficult, probably. There, you will definitely learn some things along the way that you didn't know about real estate and real estate law, but it's important to understand that it is not that difficult and it absolutely can be done. The things that you don't know, you will lean on your partners, your teammates, uh, the various professionals that are involved in the transaction you know, the real estate agent, the title company, the lender, they're going to give you instructions along the way. So understand that people know how to do this and it can absolutely be done. So if you have a, a, you know, a property that you inherited and you need to tap into that equity or better yet, you want to tap into that equity or better, better yet, you want to stop paying property taxes on a home that you're not even utilizing, right? Then just understand that it can be done. And I'm going to show you step by step how to get it done. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do after understanding that obviously you can get this done is to get you a contract on the property. You know, property sales follow the same traditional path regardless of what weird situations come up. So in order to get yourself a property, you've got to market the home. Who you market the home to differs depending on what your situation is as the seller. So if you're a distressed property owner, meaning the property itself is dilapidated or you yourself are in a very distressing situation and you need out quickly, you're probably going to market your home to investors or cash buyers. You know, if you inherited a property that was, you know, fully paid off, absolutely no debt, and the home is in decent condition where the city's not fining you for owning it and letting it sit there looking like a pigsty, you might be in a totally different situation. You know, you might actually call up a real estate agent, go retail on that sale, and go for the absolute most amount of money possible. But the correct course of action ultimately depends on you as a seller and what is most important to you throughout the transaction. If it's the convenience of receiving an all cash offer, you know, close in two weeks, then understand you're going to give up money taking that option. And if you want absolute most money possible for your home, understand, you know, there's downsides to that as well. You're going to be sitting on the market. People are going to be coming and looking at the home. You've got lengthy contracts. You've got financing contingencies. The deals could fall apart, you know, left and right. They often do. Happens all the time. So you're going to put up with, you know, more hassle but you could potentially earn more. So what is important to you is going to determine exactly what you need to do in order to market this home and get it and get the home under contract. Now, the second thing, uh, or the third thing that you're gonna do as soon as the pen hits the paper, right? You got your pen, you got your paper, boom. You sign the contract, you've got a buyer, right? Verbs, next thing that you're gonna do is open title. And this is specifically where dealing with the heirs on the property is gonna come in. So you're gonna to go to the title company, you're gonna hand them the executed contract, the one to four contract, right? Or whatever contract it is that you're working on. You open, you open that up at title company and they're gonna start doing what title does. So if you don't understand what title does, it's simply this. They essentially provide an insurance property, uh, an insurance, um, policy on the property. They essentially provide an insurance policy on the property. They do research on the property and they issue a policy saying, we have done this much research. We didn't find anything attached to the property that could potentially cost you money down the line, like an unpaid lien or you know something like that. Back taxes uh, is really common. They're going to do that research and before the sale occurs, they're either going to make sure that there are no issues outstanding or they're going to resolve whatever the issues are that they find. And guess what issue they are going to find? The property owner has deceased and now there are multiple heirs who need to be dealt with in order for this property to be sold. Everybody's got to be involved, which means fun. <laughs> so this is where we're going to take care of it, though. 
the title company is going to request a very simple document from you. It's called an affidavit of airship. It sounds scary, uh, but in reality, it's a very simple document. It can be prepared by any attorney, uh, and it's really, really simple. And basically, what the affidavit of airship says is this: We are affidavit. You know, we are swearing. Um, as the affiants, <laughs> not to use too many big words here, basically, we are swearing that the people who are inheriting this property are the owners of this property and that everyone is conveying in the sale together and everyone agrees that this property can be sold. So all you have to do is track down the other heirs, right? Sometimes that's difficult. Sometimes that's easy, but ultimately the lawyers prepare a document called the affidavit of airship and you track down the heirs and you tell them to go sign it. How do you get them to go sign it? I give you a real, real simple strategy. Tell them they're going to get paid because most likely they are going to get paid because they have an ownership interest in the property. And if that property is not being used for anything, it's a pretty easy sale to get your family members on board, sign the dotted line, and everybody can you know walk out with checks. Even if you don't like each other. I've seen people who don't like each other at all who came together to make a little bit of money. So the final thing is this. Go to the closing table on closing day get your paycheck and enjoy that that property is no longer yours because what you've just, just done is sold your property that you inherited when you had multiple heirs. Now it's closing day, you sign the paperwork, you collect your check and you disperse that obviously between the different heirs or whatever the, the breakdown split is that you've agreed on. Usually it's equal. Uh, you pay your heirs, you get paid, and then you go out to Chili's and you you know have uh, some margaritas. So hope you have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.